Hi guys, hope you're having a good day so far. So I've got a new video for your faces, hope you enjoy. Types of Instagram bios. You know them, you hate them, you love them. Bios, obviously, if you don't know what they are, it's the first thing they see when they see your profile. Alongside their picture, there's a little box. Some people fill it out, some people don't. That's just called a bio. This video is here to highlight those types of people. Do not be ashamed, well, if you're one of the cheesy people, then just like pointing you guys out because you're the types of people that I notice on Instagram. Let's get started with this video. I see quite a lot is biography bios. I think everybody knows someone who has a biography bio. This person, pretty much in the name biography, they write everything about themselves. Their name, their birthday, what they go to school, family, friends, like they write a whole list. Where were you in that internet safety lesson where the teacher was like, do not put your date, your birthday, your month of birth, your year of birth, your family, personal photos, holiday photos. Do not put any personal information online. This person lists out their whole biography, life story, where they're going next, where they live, they put everything on their Instagram bio. I didn't come here to know your life story. You can find out anything about this person. And if any of you are biography buyers, I recommend you do not do that because it's for your own safety and there's a lot of creepy people out in this world. You don't want anything happening to you because you decided to put your life story on Instagram. Don't worry, when I first started Instagram, I was one of those people. Just helping you guys out here. And the next type of Instagram bios, but why did I say it like that? The next type of Instagram bios, the self promos. Now, self promos. This person likes to promote all their social medias on their Instagram. Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, calm down. I just came for your Instagram. Or like, add me on Facebook, add me on Snapchat. I just found you on Instagram. How am I supposed to know whether I want to add you in these places, you know? It takes a lot of consideration, a lot of thought to think, should I follow this person? I'm, I'm not gonna do that just because I follow you on Instagram. So, uh, it's just like, mm. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Faith underscore Minui. Also add me on Snapchat, which is Faith Minui. Um, Kick, yes, I'm missing add me on Kick. Yeah, I'm not even done. Add my YouTube, crazy Faith. Ooh, emails. I need more followers on my Pinterest. Let me add that. The third type of Instagram bios, the shady quotes. Now, I love these people who love shading people on their Instagram bio. Whether it's just like a quote or full on like, normally it is to get back at someone, bent out after a situation. I can't believe what Megan did to me yesterday. I'm so gonna vent out on my Instagram bio. Do not trust girls these days. They are man stealers. Man stealers. Are if you like you know the person personally who is shading these people, it's like even better because you're just like so fake, so two faced. Add to my Instagram bio. Megan, you're a man stealer. Oh my gosh, Megan's a man stealer. What? A new revelation, I did not know this about her. I can't believe we speak friends. Megan and Jesse speak friends? What? Piecing together or for the like pleasing you like Megan, Man Stealer, Jesse, friends. Next Instagram bio, the old school. Follow for follow, like for like. Like this is so I don't even know, but like 2010. It wasn't Instagram, it was just start. Like, this is like old school. I think it's just many people who have first joined um Instagram and they do the whole like flight follow follow because I know I did when I first joined Instagram. I thought it was like the trend, the coolest thing ever. Sometimes some shady people, once you like their picture, they'll unlike your pictures. Have I seen this correctly? Did she just unlike my picture after I liked her picture? Because I know lots and lots and lots of people who unfollow someone after they follow someone and it's just like they don't check who's following them. They will never realise that they just got unfollowed, which is like the worst. So that's why I don't do that. But I used to do it and I used to get played really badly. So next one, they get one of those, um, I don't know what they're called, but pictures and they say something like, oh, um, go like my last picture. I just upload a new photo, go like it. My hands are like doing this in the background. They'll go all out. Just go like for a like, go comment for a comment, go and give me an emoji for another emoji. They go all out. Start off from the bottom and out of there with that 100 followers, that 50 unfollowed. So she had to regain those followers by following again. Next Instagram bio. So don't DM people. Like, do you think there's some next up royal princess? You know, what if someone doesn't want to DM you? <laughs> like, don't try to contact me, don't DM me, don't message me, don't. You know, you'd think, because Instagram is a social network, people would want to actually like talk to other people, but I guess not. It's like, gosh, okay. No boys, girl. 
you know, someone like this. I don't know why, but they feel like saying, no boys, I bet, I guarantee they're following at least one boy. No boys. And I'm saying it like this because they normally put in capital letters, the exclamation mark on, no boys. It's, it's a little sad, I guess. But being, I don't see why I have to put in a bio there. Like, like, just keep the profile on private and if any boys have to contact you, just don't let them follow you. It's not that hard. The main motto is just like, if you are one of those people, I recommend you put your account on private and if anyone tries to contact you, don't block them or something, you know, don't have to add it on your bio, I think it's just a little awkward. Next one, I can't even stress, I'll just call them name droppers. These people are so annoying. It's mainly like primary school age, like they call them such weird names like my world or my besties or my girlfriends or my squad. I didn't come here to see who your friends are, who your squad is. When I did it, I did it around like year six or seven and I listed out all my friends and I thought it was so cool. I was like, so cheesy. It's like, ugh, stop, please, my eyes. Why? It's your profile, not your friend's profile. No need to add your friends to your profile. I don't get it. I don't understand. If you guys understand, please tell me why people do it because I don't get it. It's not just friends, it's also a like boyfriend or girlfriend. Like mine, me put that little. Okay. Mine, and they put that little padlock and a key emoji, or maybe have the name of their boyfriend or their girlfriend, and they put the little padlock key emoji. Ugh. I don't know, trying to make us jealous here, trying to flaunt your relationship here. I like to never do that again. This is not shade. If anyone does that, like, you know, be proud, good for you. But I'm telling you, when you get older and you grow up and you realize that you did stuff like that, it make you cringe a lot. I need to add all my friends to my bio. Amy, because everyone will be so jealous when you see my friends on my bio. She's my world. Stephanie, she's my heart. I have to add my boyfriend, of course. Kian, he's my bestie. Zoe, Queen. Miles, he's my baby. Everyone will be like, so jealous of us. Oh my gosh, like, we are just squad goals for days. Let me just put that up there. We are just so goals. I'm not hating against people who do that because I did it once myself, but I'm just saying it's just really cheesy and I just recommend you do not do that. Um, it's up to you. Next person, next Instagram bio, the desperate roadman. They are desperate roadmen. <laughs> They're these people. One second. They post like this. They're like. The profiles are like this. They have them ridiculous gloves, even though it's not even bloody cold. Like asked to be DM or like DM me. Self promo themselves as well. So they're also the self promo people. They're all like. Follow me here, follow me there. They're just desperate. They just want those DMs. We'll be sliding to their DMs. The so second to last one is motivational quotes. I love being this person who just has every single quote as their bio, their profile, and you just feel so uplifted mm. to inspire themselves, to inspire others. I don't know, but most of the time they just have a quote there and it's nice to read. Yeah, they just have the most motivational quotes ever. Every time they update their bio, you know, it's going to be a quote. Sometimes it's about success, sometimes about friendship. Missy is haters. I need to update my Instagram bio. So much time in my life lately. Don't let the haters who try to put you down get ahead of you because you are already ahead. That's why they're trying to bring you down. That's a good one. You need to add that to my Instagram bio. The last type of Instagram bios is the relatable people. One of my favourite bios, but mostly not motivational. It normally involves like a little sarcasm or just like plain hatred of people. The quotes that you can just relate to, you know, it's like... It's not motivational basically, it's just like food, pizza, Netflix, bands, music. When you read their bio you're like, yeah. It's like the realest, the realest quotes ever. Only shady, but they're like relatable, so they're relatable and shady, so what's better? Who needs friends when food is always there for you? Something like that. On point with every single quote they have because it's so relatable. Just like, yes, I can relate to that on such a good level. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was just types of Instagram bios. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down below any more types of people you want me to do and subscribe because I make new videos every Saturday or your faces do not want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye!